Hey everybody, this is Kate at Utah Trikes. Welcome to the shop. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at one of our most recent custom projects. It was a project that required a lot of teamwork and a lot of attention to detail to make sure everything came out flawlessly. It was just a regular day at the shop until Dylan got a really exciting phone call. Utah Trikes, this is Dylan. Hey, doing well, how are you? Yeah, okay, expedition. Okay, and what color would you like? Fire red? Yeah, I got one of those. Our customer on the other end of the line wanted a Cat Trike Expedition, which is a model that we love, but also wanted an electric upgrade. Okay, fire red. Okay, oh, you want a motor on it, okay. It's a thousand watt. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah, we'll get to working on it. Um, before it ships, we'll send you pictures. Uh, if you could check that out uh, before we ship it, uh, just to confirm that everything looks good. Um, but if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to let me know. Okay. Yep, thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. We love putting motors on trikes, whether it's a mid-drive or a hub motor, whether you're out touring or commuting or hill climbing, an electric option adds a lot to your trike. You can use it as a pedal assist or you can just hit the thumb throttle and cruise. Dylan prints off the order, hands that over to Lewis, who's gonna be working mostly on this build, and Lewis gets started pulling parts. Just sold an expedition. He's got a thousand watt motor. Sounds good. Right. Let's see, got the expedition, chain tensioner. All right, got some parts to pull, but luckily we've got the trike already built up. So I'll go grab that real quick. Looks like the guys just finished building it. Another day for stock, but I get to do some upgrades. like upgrades, uh, chain tensioner system, anything else on the front, no. Um, back here we have two mirrors on here, so we're going to need the mirror and the mount. And then the rack, our hub motor, um, our adapters to go to the standard dropouts, uh, extra battery, and the headlight and taillight system. I'm pretty sure we have all of that in stock, so. Let's go for it. All right, guys, and this is our inventory room. Got quite a lot of stuff in here. Uh, in here, we're looking for the TerraCycle chain tensioner system, which, if I remember correctly, one of these. Alrighty, this is a pretty cool upgrade. It allows you to push in and pull out your boom without having to change the chain length. So if you if you have multiple people riding it that are different heights, that's one thing to look at. Um, also, we need the mirror. Okay, now the right side cat trike mirror mount um, right here. Okay, that's all the parts from the inventory room I need to grab. Um, we'll need to head down into the basement to get the motor stuff. I'm gonna set this down real quick on my rack. And take you guys down to the basement. Hey, look at that. Looks like Henry just finished lacing up the wheel. So we'll go ahead and grab that. We need two batteries, so. Two of these. Two battery mounts. No. Two of these. Oh, that's. 
need. This one is. Yeah, that guy. Hey Kate, could you carry this for me? Thank you. I'll get this. Let's go back up. Alrighty, now there's one last thing we need, which is the adapters, and that's down in the metal shop. Down this way. Looking good, Luke. All right, now we got all the stuff and we can start the build. Once Luke gets all the parts pulled, now it's time to get started on this build. Because we already had a stock fire red cat trike expedition, most of the work that we're putting into this trike includes installing that rear wheel that has the hub motor as well as mounting the batteries. So far we have the battery mounts, the motor in, and the idler put on. We had to make sure that the headlight and the tail light were internally routed and ran off of the motor system. So I just made this custom bracket, um, which I'm mounting to the fender for the tail light. I routed the cables for it. I'm gonna secure those up in the fender. Um, kind of similar to that HP Velotechnic Scorpion that we did not too long ago. And up on the front end, I'll show you real quick. I put a rivet right here to attach the headlight. Routed the cable through here and brought it out over here by the shifter cable. Put some heat shrink to keep that looking nice. and still a work in progress, but we're getting there. Ben also came upstairs to help with the build. He's typically down in the shop, uh, but he came upstairs to help out with the battery installation on the expedition. So, we had a battery sled. We already got the, the bracket already mounted. Uh, I like to slide it as much forward so it puts even amount of pressure onto the bracket, um, but it obviously depends on how much of clearance for your seat is. So, result may vary, but we always make a key pointing out, so it's just easier to take off so you can check it. Snap this guy on here. And then this guy will just plug into here for the Y splitter. And then you had two. Our customer wanted a thousand watt hub motor with a dual battery setup. There was a lot of attention to detail that went into this build and we're really proud of the final product. Lewis is gonna do a little bit of a walk around and then we're gonna go out with Justin and get some riding shots. So the build's all done and we're gonna do a little walk around or spin around if you will. Um, so here it is, the Cat Track Expedition. We have our hub motor on the back with our lighting kit and routed that through the derailleur post and then tied that in down the shifter cable all the wirings under the seat um, dual batteries on here the rack back here on the fender the rear light is mounted and that's also internally routed through the fender comes out down over here 
Up on the front, we have the TerraCycle chain adjust system, which allows you to push in the BIM and pull it out without having to resize the chain at all, which is pretty nice. As always with cat trikes, the Avid BB7 mechanical disc brakes. Got the FSA uh, Gossamer triple crank set on front, paired up with the SRAM, the SRAM GX 10 speed in the rear. Uh, one thing that we had to do was put the front shifter on this bottom bar because if you look at this side, there's a lot going on and there's not really a way to put a bar end shifter over there. So we had to opt to move it over here, which honestly feels pretty natural to shift. Reverse button here. You have your throttle mirrors on both sides. Uh, the console and then the buttons to work the motor system right there. Brake sensors in line to kick the motor into regen mode. And then uh, with the hub motor, you do not need a gear sensor because the power is not transferred through the chain. It's just directly from the rear hub. Expeditions all come stock with the headrest, which is pretty nice. We did use our dropout, extent, our dropout adapters to mount the hub motor on there. So we're gonna take this off the stand and Justin's gonna hop on, take it out and get some riding shots with Kate. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. We really hope you guys have enjoyed being a part of the process. We love how this trike turned out and we're excited to send it off to our customer. If you like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or feedback for us, please leave us a comment. We love to hear from you guys just to know what kind of content you like seeing. Thanks for watching. We hope you like this build. Is that it? Please tell me that was okay. To the thousand watt hub motor. Excuse me. Is that Alan? I'm pretty sure I took the online college course class. I'm plenty qualified, but. Hey guys, this is Lewis from Utah Trikes. You'll see there's some cat trikes behind me. That's pretty cool.